Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a Swiss chard Mediterranean style. So let me give you the ingredients. Okay, so I went to the store and I found this uh, rainbow uh, Swiss chard. As you can see, it has different colors. I don't know if they put artificial colors so that way they paint the roots and the stems. So what I did, I just chopped it off. We're gonna use it like a um, saute, like a spinach, any other uh, vegetable. So you can see the colors over here. The red one, the pink, some purple ones. So I'm gonna use it for my garnish, but I wanna show you first how to do the, the side dish, and then we're gonna make a, a meal out of this. So you're gonna need about four uh, big leaves of the Swiss chard. You can use any color or the rainbow one. And also I have some uh, half an onion, cut it in a half moon or slices. Same thing with the fennel. I have uh, some fennel uh, over here. So let me show you the fennel. Some people, they don't know what's the fennel. <clears throat> so what I did, I just removed you know, some of the parts of the fennel and I uh, slice them like this. And this is how it comes from the store, like big balls. And then you just peel it off and put them in a, on the dishes. And also the lemongrass. I'm gonna use some, uh, maybe one leaf of the lemongrass for my fish. But that's for my fish. And also I'm gonna need some uh, anchovies. This is gonna be optional. It's gonna be two of them. But three garlic cloves slices. Some uh, chili flakes or pepperoncini chili de arbol, anything you want to use, some uh, olive oil and also a salt, hot saute pan and then uh, we're gonna come back and finish our Swiss chop. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some uh, olive oil or avocado oil and put the uh, anchovies just to melt them, to break them down and then we're gonna come back, cut the garlic, the onion and the fennel. Okay so now I'm gonna add some uh, chili de arbol or flakes, whatever you want to use. And then we're gonna brown our fennel, garlic, and onion. So we're just gonna saute them for a couple minutes, season it with a black pepper and a little salt. Remember, we have the anchovies, so it's kind of salty. So we're gonna come back in a few minutes and finish our sweet char. And now we're gonna add the sweet char. And we're gonna saute. Okay. And also we're gonna add some salt pepper. This is to taste. A little pinch of uh, chili flakes. And just we're gonna toss them a little bit and come back when this is ready. And we're gonna deglaze with a uh, white wine. We're gonna use about two ounces. Let the wine evaporate, and this is done. So the, the lemongrass, we're just gonna add it for a little flavor on it, and let it um, get the flavor infused to the Swiss char. And then we're just gonna finish our Swiss char on the plate, or you can use it for any garnish. But well, this is our final presentation on the Swiss char. And like I said, this is just for flavor and aroma. So just leave it there so that way it steams and comes the flavor of the lime. And then uh, you can serve it with your uh, lime, finish it with some olive oil, or use it as a bed for any vegetable meal that you wanna use. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel on Chef Alex Perez on Facebook, Chef Alex Perez on YouTube, share my videos, and uh, Hopefully you guys like it and enjoy it. Thank you. See you next time.